Hello. First of all, I would like to thank you for coming to our conference. Hello. My name is Chase Walgrave, and I am glad you came. If you ask my little sister, apparently I have the ability to persuade people, like talking to my parents, into letting me do things that she can't do. Of course, to get permission to do all this Lennox stuff means that we need to convince the leaders of our school that what we do is a good idea. To do that, sometimes we have to persuade people. Today, I want to summon my powers of persuasion. You've heard Mr. Karoff and Muhammad talk about how using Linux, we've been able to do some exciting things at our school. The only thing you haven't heard is, why do this? I would like to give you a reason why to start a Linux club. Some might ask, why does my school need something like that? Or even say, that kind of thing is not for us. I am here to say that any school can do this, and your school just might be waiting for you to be the leader. Why should any school start a Linux club? There's lots of reasons. Let's talk about some. First of all, Linux is free. That means it is free to get, free to use, free to change, and free to give away. This is called complete software freedom. No school has an unlimited supply of money. If you're looking to save some money on tech, Linux is a great way to do it. Since Linux runs great on old computers, a school can get by just fine using Linux rather than buying all new stuff. Let me give you an example. Mr. Carroll's computer over there was used. It runs Linux, and it was free. You could put computers in front of kids the same way. Linux runs great on old computers. In fact, you can bring old computers back to life. This not only saves money, but it reduces e-waste. E-waste is the type of litter that is formed from computer, or computers, or from computers. And the last time that I checked, our country produces too much e-waste. Linux runs great on old computers. In fact, you can use it to bring old computers back to life. This, is, this not only saves money, but it reduces e-waste. I mean, oh, oops, sorry. Kids learn. In a Linux club, we learn how to do all this. We learn how to install software, fix computers, update and upgrade computers, and all sorts of other skills. These skills are in-demand skills, according to the 2018 Open Source Jobs Report from the Linux Foundation. 83% of hiring managers said that open source talent was important to them. And 77 and 87% of them said that it was hard to find qualified help. And if we and if you and if we get one of these jobs, we'd better be prepared to get lots of money because they pay great. This is a cheap program to have. All of the software was free. And it, and if you are using old computers, you don't have to pay a lot for them. Something else to keep in mind, people like to help kids. When they hear you're about you are when they hear about you running a Linux club that has kids recycling computers, they will give you old computers. Many computers we give away are given to us with people didn't or are given to us by people who didn't want them anymore and who wanted to help kids. And when you fundraise for clubs like this, people and foundations like to give you money to support it. The programs, sorry, programs like this have a proven track record to be able to bring in donations. You get to help people. If your school doesn't need computers, lots of schools and families probably do. Having kids use Linux to restore computers is a great way to supply PCs that can do some good in people's lives. When we have been fortunate enough to give away a few computers to our needy students. We're with more to come. When you give away a computer to a kid, 
you're helping the family too. But Linux computers can also help your school. The Penguin Core refurbishes enough laptops to, to supply two of our classrooms, like Mr. Kraft mentioned. These computers were bound for the recycler and nobody else wanted them. They were used almost every day now. Another benefit is because two of our teachers have their own supply of computers. They don't even need to check out the Chromebook cards, leaving them for other teachers to use. Everybody benefits. It's fun. That should be enough of a reason for anybody. And kids are learning while having fun. As you can see, there's lots of reasons why a school should have a Linux club. It's affordable, kids learn, they have fun, and it makes a difference. What do you, what do you, what do you do with this knowledge? It's up to you, but my hope is, is you join us in changing the world. Thank you, and have a nice day. And now I would like to present up to the stage, Joel Morris.